Hello and welcome back to Glory to Gaming. I am your host Steve and we have a great episode in store for you today. Today we're going to be checking out a indie title that has gained a lot of success recently. It goes by the name Darkest Dungeon. And I'm going to just kind of be going over some of the selling points, you know, some of the cons and whether really it's it's worth buying or not. Uh, I've never played this game and this is my first time kind of taking a look at it. So here it goes. Ahead. Oh, it's my first fight. Dog in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. Oh man, that is an entrance. Okay. Uh, this game is supposed to be extremely difficult. Their formation is broken. And I always say this, but uh, it's not proving to be so thus far. Okay, this must be like the the hub sort of deal. Oh, bird dude, what's up, bird dude? The bitch said torches. Okay, this is like my first real mission. I'm kinda excited here. Shitty play bomb go! Oh I lied, it's awesome! This is how a life is taken. Ooh, Success another crusty so thing. Would appear you don't get to keep your shit. That makes me so mad. Torches, of course. Stress continues to build beyond the point of affliction. If a hero's stress bar fills a second time completely, their body will give out. Get them aid or retreat back to town before this happens. Death awaits us all. Yeah! Death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. You dodged it! It's okay, you're dead. These nightmarish creatures can't that wasn't be bad. Okay, so back of the hamlet, looks like we've got some new available things here. Embark! When a hero is reduced to 0 HP, they are at death's door, while in this state they will suffer stat penalties, plus any further damage has a chance to kill them. Heal them to get off death door. De -de 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 death's door. Yeah, did it. Oh, awesome. Okay. Whew. So too oh, Braveheart's a bad bitch! Oh no, poison dude's dead! Trap! Oh no. Finish him. Oh, the killing blow. These nightmarish Yay. creatures can be spelled. Okay, so I've gotten a good chance to look at the game, play through it a little bit, get some really good first impressions going. So let's talk about it. Darkest Dungeon has a really strange conflicting feel. It's as if the cast of Final Fantasy got put into Big Brother, except the set would be Dark Souls and Diablo. This is actually one of its most endearing qualities. Darkest Dungeon has an incredible amount of depth. There are a lot of classes to choose from here, a lot of them have different skill sets, and there's a lot to learn. That being said, one of Darkest Dungeon's biggest downfalls is its inability to teach you how to play it. True, the game challenges you in many various ways, but my biggest problem with this is your challenge really shouldn't come from learning the game. It should come from, well, challenges. The combat here is really solid. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I really liked a lot of the aspects of the combat. I felt that the, a lot of the skills were very cool. Though, honestly, I could sort of just mash my way through a lot of these fights. The game features very little bugs for an indie title, and I only crashed, I believe, once. Thankfully, the game does have a very good save system, so that wasn't much of a problem. So should you buy Darkest Dungeon? Darkest Dungeon has been a really enjoyable experience. At my opinion though, 25 bucks is a little steep. This is probably one that any RPG fan will really want in their library, but I'd probably wait for a sale. 